Let's bring back our example of Noki from our last lesson. We can infer quite a bit on business risk from this. Firstly, business risk refers to the risk associated with a firm's operating income or EBIT. As you can see from this example, EBIT can vary by quite a lot, which is a substantial risk to the company. As EBIT is the result of the firm's sales and the expenditures necessary to produce the sales, these two are the main components of business risk. Sales risk is the uncertainty about the firm's sales. And operating risk is the uncertainty in operating income caused by fixed operating costs. As we've learned in the last lesson, leverage is the amount of fixed costs a firm has. So the greater the degree of leverage, the greater is a firm's operating risk. As such, to measure level of operating risk of a company, we can estimate the degree of operating leverage of the company. This measure is the sensitivity of a firm's EBIT to its sales and is defined by the ratio of the percentage change in operating income to the percentage change in units sold. For example, a ratio of 3.0 means that for every 1% change in number of units sold, the operating income changes by 3%. So if the number of units increases by 5%, the operating income should increase by 15%. To calculate DOL, use this formula where Q is the quantity of units sold, P is the sale price per unit, V is the variable cost per unit, and F is the fixed operating costs. Note that this should not include any fixed financing cost, as we're only interested in the operating leverage at this stage. Now, why don't you pause for a moment and calculate the DOL for no key using this formula? If you've attempted, you'll probably notice that you cannot calculate it because you do not know what the quantity of units sold is. Through this, we learn that the DOL of a firm is not constant and depends on the quantity of units sold or the level of production the company is at. If no key is selling a thousand units per month, its DOL will be 2.67. This means that if the number of units sold increases by 50% next month, the operating income will be up by 133%. And if the number of units sold decreases by 50%, the operating income will be down by 133%. Let's bring back the figures we calculated in the last lesson. Indeed, we can see that the operating income moves up or down by 133% if the number of units sold increases or decreases by 50%. Now's your turn to do some calculations. If Noki's number of units sold is 500, what is the DOL at this level of production? If you got minus 4, you're correct. Operating income at this level is negative so the change in operating income should be in the opposite sign to the change in sales. In fact, if you plot the DOL of a firm at various levels of unit sales, you get this peculiar graph. This break here is the point where the denominator is zero, which is the quantity at which the firm sells just enough to cover the fixed operating costs. If we solve for the denominator to be zero, we get 625 units. Just one last thing to note for degree of operating leverage. If we multiply in the number of units, the formula can be expressed in this different form, where S is the sales or revenue and TVC is the total variable costs. Note that in this form, the denominator is operating earnings or EBIT. Let's conclude this lesson with an example. The income statement for Adodus Corp for the past year is summarised in the table below. The company expects sales to increase by 15% for this year. What is the amount of EBIT the company can expect for the year? Pause the video now and work out your answer. And we're back. Since we're not given unit sales, 
The first formula is not suitable for this question. We shall use the second formula to calculate DOL. Plug in the figures, where sales is $120,000, total variable cost is $72,000, and fixed operating cost is $18,000. Take special note not to include any fixed financing costs like interest. Punch the numbers into your calculator and you get a DOL of 1.6. The percentage change in EBIT is the percentage change in sales times the DOL. Plug in the figures and we get an increase of 24%. Therefore, the amount of EBIT a DODOS can expect for the year is $37,200. You're watching an excerpt from our comprehensive animation library. For more videos like these, head on down to prepnuggets.com. At Prep Nuggets, let us do the hard work for you.